this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of September 19, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. Okay, guys, if you are separated from someone or something, please know that it is just temporary right now. Uh, it is going to require you to dig for your patience. You are under a week of good luck and abundance. Uh, there's a good business deal. Some secrets will be revealed and some new opportunities. Going to be quick moving energy surrounding you this week. Also, a Scorpio or Pisces may or may not resonate with you guys. So, Leo, let's see what we have coming up for you. First card up, you got the world. Okay, that comes in as the world is your oyster. Things are going your way. And we have the King of Wands coming in. This is an Aries energy, fire sign energy. Uh, taking authority, you're, you know, you've had enough. You are like putting your foot down. You're like, I've done A, B, and C, and now we're going to do X, Y, and Z. But bottom line is, we're going to do things my way, okay? Definitely another fire sign assisting you. We have the hangman. You guys are feeling stuck. You're feeling like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. So there's just no movement around you right now. But actually what it's asking you to is to be still. Because see the light around her head? That's when the clarity and the answers that you seek will come into you. And will let you know what your next step is. Okay? Now, we have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, new beginning in communication. Now, granted, we are under Mercury Retro until October 2nd, Leo, okay? And this is the time frame of the unexpected. There's a lot of past people and a lot of past situations that have come back into play. But this is the new beginning in communication, and this is you reaching out to people that you have not talked to in a very long time. Center of the reading bonus, we have the Three of Cups. There is a celebration. This is a gathering of three or more people. I'm not going to say it's unexpected. I'm going to say it's unplanned. So maybe you all get together and go out to dinner. It's kind of like on a whim. So very good energy there. With that, I have the Nine of Wands. This is what I call the Bajiggity card, okay? This tells me that you feel like a cat on a hot tin roof, okay? Um, you are anxious, excited, and overwhelmed all at one time. You have a lot of scattered energy around you, a lot of restlessness. And right here under Retro, I'm going to describe that as being perfectly normal for you, okay? And we have the Three of Pentacles. What does the Three of Pentacles says? You're growing your money. The money, the budget you have, it's enough to work with, but you want to see it grow. You're going to look into investments, savings, some of you creating a side hustle or something, okay? But you're growing your money. You have the magician. This is your yes answer. This trumps your entire reading. This is the highest card in the tarot deck. This says you get everything you want and desire is right there on the table before you. As well as the Four of Wands, someone coming in to offer a relationship. So, if you are a single Leo, this is going to be significant. You definitely got something off of a relationship coming. But if you are married or coupled or anything like that, you're actually ascending to another level. This could be living together, uh, engagements, anything like that. Okay? So, moving forward. Let's get some additional messages here from the Leos. Okay, there again, we have the Three of Cups again, the celebration of three or more people. We have Justice. Justice is coming in in your favor. There's something here that's coming in to restore your balance. And for a lot of you, it's your financial balance. So this could be a bank loan coming through, uh, refinance, a settlement, anything like that, but something to restore your balance. Be warned, judgment. Remember I said you're communicating with a lot of people. Do not pass judgment on them too quickly, because if you do, you're going to be wrong. On the Ace of Swords, we have the Page of Pentacles. I definitely think you guys are looking at starting some type of second job or some type of side hustle. Uh, Capricorn may or may not resonate here. Center of the reading, you have got decisions to make that you've been putting off for way too long. And on that Nine of Wands, we have the Emperor. This is a dominant, prominent, take charge type person. And this is, this is someone that kind of comes in to save the day, you know, brings you that peace of mind. That sigh of relief. On the Three of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands. You're going to really make future travel plans. Really think this has to do with water. Uh, maybe you're visiting a river, lake, or ocean. Okay. 
on the magician we have the three of swords be warned okay if it's in the love life be warned that you're not getting involved in a third party situation if it is not in the love life there is definitely somebody trying to put their nose in your business okay and on the four of wands yes we have the five of swords you're very defensive because of this someone's nosing around too much you're very defensive your guard is up and don't blame you center of the reading bonus you guys doesn't matter you're gonna trump it all you with the world and that magician the world says the world is your oyster bottom line is no matter who is trying to be in your business or whatever malice intent they have towards you you went out you come out victorious on it Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, JackieTomlin.com. If you're seeking a personal reading, you guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you soon.